hello guys welcome back again this is your boy Adam Adam's link i hope you guys are doing okay please try as much as possible to like this video comment share it all on the platform follow me on instagram twitter facebook i don't link me make sure you subscribe and click that bell notification to get updates anytime any day i upload well uh good morning guys uh welcome back this is a beautiful friday morning and uh thank god it's friday i hope you guys are getting ready for the weekend and meanwhile uh in this video i'll be looking at s men in fact uh there's one governor recently who came out to say not all bandits are criminals in nigeria imagine and that's coming from zamfara state governor and uh, also i'll be looking at uh, zlatan davido and uh you guys recall this particular incident that happened in italy uh this girl was trying to force a baby this girl and her friends were trying to force a baby on a guy apparently the girl has given birth and uh she gave birth to a white kid so uh to a white child sorry so uh this guy uh, shared a video yesterday and uh you can see the happiness in the, on his face like it's not the father well i'm going to i'm going i'm going to be sharing you that video but uh, let's discuss other things first uh you know these nigeria celebrities with the kind of things they do online you think that uh, they are rough they don't they are not serious with their life like specialized latin do you know latin just recently passed out from uh nyc he shared the picture yesterday he shared the picture yesterday whoever knew latin was even going to school talk more of uh, uh going through nyc so this is one thing to see tell you youth out there who are trying to imitate these uh, singers that see even if you are rugged even if you want to be rugged also try as much as possible to be serious with your life so at the time we finish school upon upon the upon the shows the money the fame he still went to school did his nyse he posted the pictures and of course you see guys uh that is one thing to still tell you like i've said before even if you are rugged try as much as possible to have something doing in your life that is serious you are serious with it if it's education you're okay if it's business okay make sure you are serious with it and of course uh, it seems like david do may have dumped negi baby ninja negi i don't know what's happening between these two it was david do who first unfollowed her you know david david do used her for his uh for his music video joe very credible music video it's uh, one of the biggest music video so far in uh in 2021 so they dropped that music video and uh, it was nice everything were, were went well and uh now david do unfollowed negi and negi is equally unfollowing david o. i don't know what is happening between these two definitely it won't be a bad business so what is it is it that negi bad mouth david o? Or David Doe bad mouthed Negi because David Doe was the first person to unfollow Negi. Or um, David Doe don't feel like ah, why am I even unfollowing uh, following this kind of uh, baby Niger people? Say so let me just unfollow. There's this certain time David Doe unfollowed everybody on uh, Instagram, including his baby mama, uh, Choma, and even now, yeah, he has uh, started following close to like 400 hate persons on Instagram, excluding his baby mama, if all his baby mamas excluding his wife to be trauma he's not following anyone till today so i don't really know what's happened between negi and uh david o. and you know guys it's hardly you see a guy quarreling with a girl if he has nothing to do with relationship or uh or anything like uh trying to get together all those kind of stuff but uh it's hard you see it's about business it's hardly you see a guy and a lady and a girl quarreling that has to do with business so maybe this might be the case or maybe david o may have tried to get one uh, get together with negi one or twice and uh, maybe they actually did or something happened or something 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 happened because i was a bit surprised that david o used negi on uh, his joe's uh, video so uh, just exactly what is happening between zlatan and dj copy and uh, you know i already said that i suspect that uh, zlatan may have hacked dj copy out and it seems like DJ Copy is now with uh, Fireboy. I don't know if that relationship is just for publicity or maybe they have a music video or if it's real. I don't know. But uh, meanwhile, I don't know what is happening between these two 
person is all I can say is that they unfollowed each other. The video was the one to unfollow Negi. Then Negi returned the favor and unfollowed David. Oh, please just let me know exactly what you think might be wrong with these two people. And meanwhile, David, though, if and for music has gained this certification, gold. And uh, what it means by uh, when, whenever any music gained that kind of award, gold. In USA, USA alone, or not, not the whole wide world. Like USA alone, it means like that particular song have sold close to five, or have sold more than five hundred thousand units in USA alone. And uh, they will do it if and for have sold more than five hundred thousand units each. So that's why. He was giving the certification and the video said my second gold record oh god i am grateful the only two afrobeat solo single to go gold in the usa in afrobeat history god is good more to come he's the only person to ever achieve this so that's what he's saying and meanwhile on mali said someone stole his laptop and phone inside his bag in airport <laughs> You know, a lot of people have been complaining about this thing. I've had so many people complain. That is why he, he let me say he said, so they stole my laptop, microphone, and audio interface from my box at the airport. Lemon, you looking for a hit record or what? So they stole maybe I, I see this is why it's advisable when you are traveling, always buy a key, a little key or even if you buy that key, also try as much as possible to wrap the bag. Wrap the bag because this airport, some airports, some airport staff are criminals. Simply criminals. Well, uh, sorry, O'Malley. And meanwhile, let's go back to this guy who was, uh, oh, a lady was trying to force a baby on him. So let's watch the video. I'm just going to play like a few, let me say a minute or more than a minute of the video and uh, of course i'm going to discuss about it we don't go do tests now. You won't get picky. Make sure they see them. Make sure they see them. See them. Oh, you won't picky. See them. Oh, you won't picky. See them. Let's go. 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 See them, follow them, follow them. Insta blog, what can I see them? You man. The girl will say I give her belly, say I'll not be me get picking, we don't go to test. They say I'll not be me get the picking. You know see what they do, Hassan? See her, she don't burn, no, she don't burn. You know see what they do, Hassan? She don't burn. See her. Eh, say now you boy, you know that? Say now you boy, that she burn for. See her. So guys, you see it, that guy just dodged a real big bullet. Well, eh, he's entirely grateful, you see, like, yeah. He truly doesn't want to have any child or anything to do with the girl. There are some people that would be like, okay, because I love this girl, because, okay, I don't suspect anything, okay, let me just be around this girl and let us see. But this guy was truly disgusted by the fact that this, that he even got this girl, that they say, I, I dare that he even got this girl pregnant. He was even disgusted by that fact, even before knowing the real fruit of the whole entire story. Well, guys, uh, you see girls, you see girls, that's why they say, pardon me to use uh, uh, this pidgin language, uh, they know they ask mama who get picking, but they ask man who get picking. For those of you who don't understand, uh, ask our fellow Nigeria people or Ghana, Ghana, or anybody who can speak pidgin English. Uh, meanwhile, guys, uh, good luck to this guy, and uh, of course, I'm really happy for him though. And uh, meanwhile, uh, Navdak has approved Oxford C19 vaccine. C19 vaccine to be used in Nigeria. And uh, of course, it's, it, it's a really good thing, but one thing I'm saying about this stuff is that 
countlessly, countless times, the federal government came out to tell us they are working on a locally made vaccine. They said that idea to us that, see, okay, our own Nigeria scientists are working on a locally made vaccine, but now we've just been informed that the new the vaccine that we will be taking is from Oxford. Well, guys, uh, that's just it. Meanwhile, uh, let's move over to Bandit and uh, Fulani. No, let me say S Men. I don't want to use that name, Fulani. Let me say Bandit and S Men. Well, Zafar State Governor said not all bandits are criminals. Not all bandits are criminals. He said, The governor stated this on Thursday after meeting with President Mohamed Buhari at the presidential villa Abuja. He explained that most of the bandits take up harm due to the injustice melted on them by the members of the society. Hundreds of people have been killed or kidnapped by the bandits in Zafara, Kastina, Sokoto, Ninja, Kaduna, Nasarawa State in recent years. Despite the attack on innocent citizens, Mr. Tawali has reportedly called on the federal government to grant amnesty to the repentant bandit. Not all of them are criminals. If you investigate what is happening and what made them to take the laws into their hands, some of them sometimes were cheated by so-called the vigilant group. They normally go to their settlement and destroy properties and, and take their animals. They did not have anyone to speak with. So sometimes they go for revenge. When the vigilant group attack them, they go for revenge. That's exactly what happened. You see, this is exactly what these people sell to our president. You see? Not all bandits are criminals. This is what this guy is saying. Hi, now wow for this country. I know guy recall in Ninja State recently, uh students were kidnapped, involved one student was killed. I, I, I reported about this yesterday. So now as of today, it was reported that by Linda EKG blog that there is one particular Islamist scholar who visited these kidnappers visited like a solidarity visit because they say popular islamic scholar sheikh adam gumi on thursday february 8th met with the adopter of staff and student of government of government science college kangara ninja state according to tvt news the meeting took place at tangani forest in ninja state the bandits were led by the leader dogo Sheikh Gumbi appealed to them to give peace a chance. The bandit attacked the school on Wednesday, February 17, killed one of the students and adopted 27 of them. The bandit also abducted serious staff of the school and 12 family members of the staffs. And they robbed mine with them. They robbed mine with them. They robbed mine with them. Well, this said, and uh, another person recently said that. Uh, well, let me play you this video. This is coming from uh, Governor Abubakar Bello of Ninja State. He said that some of these bandits are tired and need to be looked after. Some of the bandits are tired and need to be looked after. So with the reason happening, what will you say, what can you suggest as the best way forward towards finding lasting solutions to these problems? Right now, our immediate priority is to is to get the kidnapped, uh, kidnapped victims released. Uh, after that, I think uh, we must have a last, uh, long-lasting solution to the farmers' headsmen conflict. Then uh, I also understand some of these bandits are, are tired. Uh, they need to be. Uh, they need to be looked after. They need to be. Kind of, we need to train them, to engage them. I think from what I have seen in the last few days, uh, there is hope that uh, once the government... Uh, the Are you hearing him? 
Oh, me and myself, I'm tired. We are all tired in this country. <laughs> are you not tired? We, all of us, need care from the government. So, because of that, we should start going out and carrying arms. We are all tired. We are all tired. The government is not doing us any good. We are all tired. So, the best solution for us now is to go out and carry arms. Those people get power arms to deal with NSAS protesters. It, it seems like, see, if you are dull in this country, like if you are so calm, the country will ride on you. But when you know your rights, you know where the arms are, you are well equipped, they are going to pet you. That is what we have seen in previous years. Even with the Niger Delta, sorry, even with the Niger Delta militants, all those they are uh, Tompolo there, eh? Today, okay, they are filthy rich because of all those kind of things they are doing, all, all those kind of business. Because they know that the government fear you when you carry arms. But it's about time the government start rewarding those who want peace. It's about time to start rewarding us who don't want all those kind of ways. This country, for me myself, I don't even know. I would jack barrel. And meanwhile, Edo State governor said he will not give any land to his men in Edo State for grazing. He recently said this in a meeting. He said he will never, ever cede any land to his men for grazing. And uh, of course, Undo, uh, Undo, sorry, uh, the first one is from Edo State. Uh, this one now is some Ondo governor banned open grazing. He said his life on the. Let's watch it, guys. They were banning op open grazing. And if you see a cow were arrested, so those, if you see the cows were arrested, them, if they are moving, they can't move in a correct and I won't allow it. It's not going to happen. We must put an end to it. Mm. I think the, the best person to resolve this issue is uh, the president. He just needs, no? They, they just need to come up with something and uh, because this thing is becoming a national issue it, it's, it's already a national issue and uh it needs to really do something about it and also guys to end this video the uh, the federal government is uh, is uh, on the move to install cctvs cctv camera and they are investing huge money when i mean by huge money we're talking millions and according to the person who reported it so they, they say the federal the fg to install cctv on major highways to tackle insecurity minister of police affair mohammed mangari that was his said to china's tv well honestly guys we already know what happened with lucky to gate of course they installed the cctv but whenever they want to do something they simply go there to remove those cctv and later install it back well guys i thank you very much for watching so boy again adam's link Stay tuned to check out my new video that's coming shortly and please try as much as try as much as possible to check out my new channel original Nigeria boy Ninja boy and I I bet you you're gonna love the content there. So bye guys.